Hey everyone, my name is Tatiana. This is my monthly contribution to Literary Gladiators for a non-fiction book. If you want to check out my book channel, it's called Reading with Tatiana. And this month my contribution is called Sleep, or the Book of Sleep, um, 75 Strategies to Relieve Insomnia by Nicole Moshweg. And this book was really great. I gave it a 4 out of 5. So the reason that this book uh, was uh, I was drawn to it was I have lots of family and friends who struggle with sleeping and having a good sleep or sleeping enough and I will admit that I am a very good sleeper and pretty good sleep hygiene so when I saw this book I thought it was interesting because maybe you know based on my last month's contribution about empathy for his channel if you remember I could, if I read this book maybe I could understand more about people's struggles with sleeping and staying asleep and that kind of stuff. So I gave this book a four because it really uh, gave me a new perspective on people who struggle with sleeping and I, you know, that's why I read uh, to get different perspectives. So I want to talk a bit about the author, Dr. Nicole Moshvig. So she is a psychologist. She's based in LA and she is a founder and director of a clinic called We Rise Psychology and she's also the author of this book, The Book of Sleep. Um, I really enjoyed her this book um, because I feel that she's very succinct and to the point and kind of like no BS. Uh, as the title states, it's called 70 Strategies to Relieve Insomnia. So she goes over each point. Uh, she says the strategy, she says why uh, people either believe it works and debunks it with science, or she says that this is why it works and this is how you can practice it. I really enjoyed this book. It's very, again, said to sink into the point, and I thought it was really great. So I'm not going to share all five 70 strategies of this book because I think it's worth reading. It's quite a short book, but I will share things that resonated with me. As I said, I really enjoyed that she acknowledges all these strategies that are popular or common and either says they do work or how they can work better, or she gives tools on how to implement them, or she debunks them saying that actually it may feel like they work, but they actually do not work. Um, some that resonate with me is the idea of people using substances, you know, using weed or using alcohol. You may feel you get a good sleep, but in the end, scientifically, medically, you don't actually get a well rested sleep. She also talks about the idea of using things throughout your day, you know, exercising, using mindfulness, using meditation, and just starting that sleep hygiene early in the day to lead you to a good sleep. Other thing that she talks about that I've actually practiced, um, I read this, this came across to my radar in my early 20s, so I think ever since I've read it, I've practiced it and it's really uh, paid dividends into my adulthood, is the idea of how your bed is just for sleep. I don't go on my phone in my bed, I don't watch videos in my bed, I don't watch TV in my bed, my bed's just for sleep. Yes, sometimes I want to just relax in bed and it's so easy to just, you know, be drawn to your bedroom and go to sleep there. But if you just make your bed your bed, you're able to really sleep very well. So I really like this book because she really, you know, for me, really validates all these good hygiene practices I have. So I think if you're someone that really struggles with sleep, having good sleep hygiene and having good sleep, this book is really for you. Another thing that resonated with me as well, she talks about how insomnia is very is a subjective thing. It's not objective. So even if maybe, you know, you have eight hours of sleep objectively. If you wake up feeling not well rested and groggy and stuff, then you have insomnia. If it persists, I believe the magic number was like three months or more. So yeah, this book is really great. I really, um, I really recommend it, especially as someone that possibly suffers from insomnia. Um, on Goodreads, this book got an average of 3.46 out of 5. I think that's very accurate. I think either, I guess if you're someone struggling with insomnia, either things resonate with you or they don't. Um, there weren't too many reviews but the ones that were said that it was 505 they followed with good tips they thought it was to the point and they were able to implement strategies right away to apply it to their life and were success successful i would say you should read this book if you have struggles with sleeping and want more strategies and yeah it's a great book now i'll share how this book made me feel because if you asked me a week a year five years from now i probably won't remember exactly what this book was about which is probably a lie because the title is very obvious, but it's just a, a blurb I have in my reviews. Um, I think this book, it made me feel, it makes me feel very sleepy. Even me reviewing this book right now, I'm just like, wow, I can't wait to sleep tonight. Um, it makes me very cozy. 
it makes me feel just, you know, I really appreciate sleep. It's an important part of being a human as it's probably a third of our lives. Thanks for watching until the end of my submission and I'll see you guys next month for my final December submission of this year for Live Your Gladiators. And again, I also appreciate you checking out my channel reading with Tatiana. Bye.